Hey everyone, welcome to Lee Jackson Field, where Zips Baseball has just capped the three-game sweep over Eastern Michigan. Coach, what are your thoughts coming off this game? Well, I thought, uh, especially on the mound uh, with Miles McVeigh in this, this second game here, uh, was a dominating performance. When we come out with two hits and a shutout, nine innings, oh, yeah. that's dominating. So I, I, I thought that uh, uh, overall, all day today, even with JT in the first game, pitched very well. And then I, obviously we swung the bats. We got a lot of hits on the board. Yeah. What what players stood off for you? Stood out to you offensively? Well, there was a couple of them. I don't know if there was really just one. And and, and the thing that, that we ended up doing well is scoring guys uh, from third base with less than two outs. And I know Brady had a couple um, uh, key hits, sacrifice flies, and hits. And then Brian Lee's uh, freshman uh, catcher. Uh, he, it seemed like he came through the whole weekend. Um, but he swung the bat. I thought uh, he, he stuck out uh, more than anything uh, in these three games. And despite the cold temperature, how does it feel back to be on your home field? Well, it's good. It's, it's always good to be home, you know, and, and uh, home cooking and, and uh, the beds and everything else. And uh, it, the conditions were, were, were bad. Glad we got the game in yesterday. Uh, it was a lot better yesterday than it was today. Uh, but yeah, especially it's always warm when you get three wins uh, at home uh, opening weekend. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Thank you. For GoZips.com, I'm Chrissy Pervonic. We'll see you guys next time. Zips Baseball will head to Wright State Tuesday, March 25th, with a first pitch scheduled at 6.30 p.m. before returning home Wednesday, March 26th, as they play host to Malone at 3 p.m. here at Lee Jackson Field.